Well, we have heard a lot of talk from the House Republicans about cutting spending, but very few specifics. And that's probably because the specifics are actually pretty bad. This report uh, makes clear that when House Republicans throw out ideas like going back to 22 funding levels, which Speaker McCarthy and MAGA Republicans in the House want to do, they aren't actually proposing a freeze. They are calling for drastic, draconian cuts that will hurt families in every corner of this country, undermine our economy, jeopardize our national security, and limit our future. It is a raw deal for you and your family to make sure uh, Sp Speaker McCarthy can appease the most extreme Republicans in the House. When House Republicans talk about cutting spending, they aren't just cutting some abstract number or a line on a page. They are talking about massive cuts to countless programs that help people in countless ways every single day. They're talking about cutting health care services. They're talking about cutting child care, which is already too hard to find or afford. They are talking about cutting the programs to make sure our kids have the very bottom line basics, a healthy lunch, clean drinking water, high quality public education, a bright future, and making sure your families have the basics, keeping roofs over your family's heads, or keeping the heat on in winter, or keeping food on the table. That is what House Republicans want to cut back, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's the 988 suicide lifeline that has helped millions of people. There's border security that is stopping fentanyl and drug trafficking. There's research into cancer and Alzheimer's and other awful diseases. There is investments in our workforce, in science and in technology, so we can stay ahead of China. That's what House Republicans want to cut. That's what government spending means to my friends and my neighbors and my constituents back in Washington State. It may just be a vague number to out-of-touch House Republicans, but to the American people, it's meaningful presence in their daily lives. And I should know what government spending is. My family would not have made it after my dad, who was a World War II veteran who served his country and made a living for his family running a small little store on Main Street of Bothell, Washington, when he got sick with multiple sclerosis and couldn't work anymore. I was young, but he got care thanks to our VA. We ate thanks to food stamps. My mom, who suddenly had to provide for seven kids, got a better job thanks to federal workforce training. Every one of me and my six brothers and sisters went to college because of federal grants. We made it through very tough times because our country did not say tough luck. But now the Speaker wants to cut the funding for your kid's school lunch, the Pell Grant to help you get a degree, the child care you rely on to go to work, and that is not common sense. It is reckless and it is heartless. And we will leave kids and families behind if we go down that road. This is not going to happen on our watch. Cutting opportunities, cutting support, cutting public safely, that is simply not what people back home sent me here to do. They want us to solve problems. They want us to make their lives better. They want us to make it a little bit easier for people who are struggling to make ends meet. They want us to invest in our families and in our communities and in a brighter future. So here's my message to House Republicans. No one wants chaos. None of your constituents want to have to worry about the wreck that you will do to our economy by threatening not to pay this country's bills. No one wants to worry about a default and not getting their Social Security check. Do the responsible thing. Raise the debt ceiling in a bipartisan way like we always have, and let's work together to fund the government. No chaos, no drama. Let's go to work.